this is the top five secret societies so unknown you have probably never heard of them. These are the top five secret societies that have hidden their presence so successfully you've probably never heard of them. Number one, the alchemists. Far from turning lead into gold, the alchemists were the spawn of Jewish, Muslim, and Christian mystics. Zosimus, a Roman historian, relates the tales of a man Chemis, an early alchemist who allegedly wrote the secrets of the fallen angels in a book called Chema, the earliest alchemical text entitled Isis the prophetess to her son Horus, originated in the first century and combined Egyptian and Hebrew mysticism, a belief system held by most Masons today. The Egyptian Isis is associated with the Red Cross, the symbology and symbol itself which can be traced to the Rosicrucians, a very mysterious society in its own right. In fact, their origin is traceable to the alchemists. Imagine that. Jabir ibn Hayyan, an 8th century Sufi Muslim mystic, collaborated with Kabbalists, who are Jewish mystics, to compile and produce alchemical texts of a more ancient and mysterious time. The Rosicrucians were suspected to have spawned in the 8th century and began carrying the alchemical torch, but many of these concepts were already taking root in other societies such as the Merovingian bloodline. This society is also on the list. Rosicrucian alchemists were instrumental in the formation of many Masonic orders while they continued to maintain their own autonomy. Another group that spawned out of alchemy was the Priori de Zion. They were set up by the Black Royalty in Europe as a way to control Jerusalem during the Crusades, produce intelligence similar to how the CIA does, and guard alchemical mysteries. Two of these mysteries supposedly included massive treasures and secret technology. It is believed that Leonardo da Vinci was its Grand Master even between 1510 and 1590. The Priory de Zion also created the infamous Knights Templar in 1118 to control its banking empire. This leads to number two, and a quote from famed New Age thinker, Theosophist Helena Blavatsky. It is curious to note, too, that most of the bodies which work these, such as the ancient and accepted Scottish rite to write of having not the order of the Temple Festus, right in the Grand Council of Emperors, the East and West Sovereign Prince Masons, etc., etc., are nearly all the offspring of the sons of Ignatius Loyola. Who are the sons of Ignatius Loyola? They are the Jesuits. Number two, the Jesuits. Maybe a quote from the 20th leader of the Jesuits during their rebirth in the 1800s would help clear up who they are, aside from Catholics and mercenaries. Dear brethren, our weapons are of a quite different temper from those of the Caesars of all ages, and it will not be difficult for us to maneuver as to render ourselves masters of all the power already so much weakened. We need fear no lack of soldiers. Only let us apply ourselves to recruiting them from all ranks and from all nations and drilling them into punctual servitude. But let us at the same time be vigilant that no one may suspect our designs. You know well that what we aim at is an empire of the world. Their crimes have ranged from political assassination, making huge sums of money by controlling most of South in Central America for centuries under a communist style regime. They had even driven their subversion so deep into the European monarchies that they were banned in every country until the Pope finally dissolved them. One Pope tried before, but was poisoned the day of his announcement. Pope Clement the 14th signed a bowl of suppression in 1773. This was that the name of the company shall be and forever is extinguished and suppressed. He then uttered the words, this suppression will be my death. He was poisoned soon after. There are purported hidden secrets in dark chambers under the Vatican. Everything from secret technology of Atlantis to massive skeletons. All that aside, they have been included in the assassination intrigue of JFK and have even been shouted out by Hitler as inspiration. Number three, the Jason. 
The very secretive Jason Society is a group of Illuminati family-oriented civilian scientists given high-level security clearance to work on above top secret government programs. They have assumed their name from the Jason and Golden Fleece mythology, always to be in search of their fleece of self and truth through science and of course, mysticism. They are reported to be tied to all levels of the alien cover-up and conspiracy. They also include in their ranks the progenitors of the Manhattan Project. They are also tied to the infamous MJ or Majestic 12 operating out of Area 51. There has never been a list of members released, and never has there been a leak from the organization. They have been heard of in passing and secret briefings in very dark, smoky rooms. It is time for a whistleblower. Number four, the Society of Cincinnati. The Society of Cincinnati is a very obscure group comprised of the descendants of Revolutionary War officers. They are ranked highly in the Committee of 300, leading and making decisions behind the scenes. There is very little known about this group. However, they were noted in a few testimonies by senators and representatives of Massachusetts. These reps were concerned that the society was, quote, the beginning of a hereditary aristocracy in the U.S. dedicated to subverting the republic, end quote, and I quote, dangerous. They are credited with destroying the Articles of Confederation in order to form the central government by which they control the states today. They are also credited with the Illuminati symbolism in D.C. and on the Great Seal. Their membership ranges in the few thousands today, including many presidents. Number five, the Merovingians. The Merovingians, or Illuminati families, are the purported children of Davidic or the line of David. They prefer to be referenced as the line of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. They are in actuality the children of the medieval ruler Merovi. This line comprised the rulers of Jerusalem, the Habsburgs, the originators of the Priory de Zion and Templars, and many black royalty, and the many Illuminati families that control the Committee of 300 today. They are shrouded in secrecy, but have been revealed to have been involved in funding every modern war from both sides. This includes World War II. Some of these families listed today are none other than the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Krupps, the DuPonts, Kennedy, McDonnell, Morgan, Oppenheimer, and Anassas bloodlines. Although they have assumed their lineage is forged, they rely upon status, wealth, power, often occult, to confirm their association with the family. These families are known to perform strange rituals, including human sacrifice as rites of passage and assured allegiance. These have been the top five secret societies, so unknown you have probably never heard of them.